Alrighty, so I would like to have you open up the work files for 0306 Roughness in Maxwell. And we're going to go ahead and load the first one here, which is this checkerboard rough. And what that's going to do is it's going to show us an image that's basically more or less our default material with a roughness of 50 specified and a map that's attached to that. And this map is basically just a simple checkerboard. I haven't changed any of the settings up here. It's pretty much the default way that it comes. And this roughness here is determining the upper limit. This is somewhat like the settings here with the RGB clamp in the sense that this is clamping the roughness to max out at 50, meaning that at no point in this image will there be anything that's rougher than 50% roughness. Whereas no matter what number you put in here, if you put in 20, if you put in 100, there will always be some zero roughness as long as you have black. The white is going to be your roughness and the black is going to be a lack of roughness. So if we're dealing with this, this would be 0% roughness. And in this particular instance, this would be whatever value we've set for our upper limit for our roughness, which happens to be 50 in this particular material. Now, the idea here is that we can do lots of things with this that are a little bit different from what we would normally expect when we're dealing with the maps. And that has to do with things like gradient. So let's go ahead and take a look at this gradient here. Now, this gradient is just a simple radial gradient. It has no real special characteristics. We're dealing with straight pure white right here all the way out to pure black. So this means that we're dealing with 100% roughness here and 0% roughness here. Now, in order to take advantage of that, we're going to want to use a different image here. I just use this so that we could really see how this is mapped. But let's go ahead and load our symbol so that we can see this. And I'm going to go ahead and set that roughness something down maybe to around 95. Because remember, we don't want to use 100% roughness if we can avoid it. So let's just go ahead and render that guy real quick. Now, you're going to notice because it's a radial gradient that it's going to be kind of circular and soft right here in the middle is where it's coming out. But what we're seeing here is a transition between full roughness and sort of this more smooth, shiny, reflective areas. And that's a seamless transition because we're dealing with grayscale data. So when you're dealing with roughness, you can, in fact, have full grayscale data. And this is going to be something that we're going to use a lot for coatings and reflective surfaces. So bear that in mind that we don't have to use just black and white when we're dealing with the roughness. We can also have as many shades of gray as we need in order to get the full effect that we want. But we always want to take into consideration our maximum roughness. So, you know, here, if I set it down to 50 like the other one was, you'll notice that the maximum roughness is a lot softer here now. And, and now we're we're dealing with more of a say probably a 30 or 40 right here going out to a zero somewhere back in in this neck of the woods and that's going to give us a more subtle effect maybe this would be useful for like having something where it's kind of worn right here and so it's not as shiny the final example here is to show that you can also use roughness in conjunction with transparent materials in this instance i have a glass and i basically just frosted the glass in stripes by having our black and white stripes here Again, white means the full roughness for whatever our upper limit for roughness is, and black means no roughness at all. The end result here is the black stripes are completely shiny, and the white stripes are at 50% roughness. If I change the roughness up or down, then that would control that effect there. And this is a really nice way of getting patterned frosted glass, which I happen to like quite a lot.